أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم فإذا قرأت القرآن فاستعذ بالله فاستعذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم آية 98 of سورة 16 So when you recite the Quran first seek refuge in Allah from shaitan the expelled from his mercy these are the words of our maker he knows best he knows what is good for us. He knows who our enemies are. He knows what they can do against us. And he's giving us the tip. I have so much to say about this. But let's ponder over this ayah first. Ayat 114, Surah Taha, Surah 20. So high above all is Allah, the sovereign, the truth. And O Muhammad, وسلم, do not hasten with recitation of the Quran before its revelation is completed to you and say, My Lord, increase me in knowledge. The best of mankind was told to say, my Lord, increase me in knowledge. I have a lot to say about these as well. وَلَا يُحِيطُونَ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنْ عِلْمِهِ إِلَّا بِمَا شَاءٍ This is a part of Ayat Kursi that says, <clears throat> and they encompass not a thing of his knowledge except for what he wills. Again, and they encompass not a thing. They will never get any of his knowledge except for what he wills. My dear sisters, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I want us to understand that knowledge of this deen, knowledge of Quran, knowledge of Allah, any beneficial knowledge is never, ever, ever going to come from us. It is always coming from Allah. And because of that, when we get stuck, a few things we need to do. Istighfar, humble ourselves, and lots of dua, to Allah to open up for us. It is not our own abilities. It is not because I am smart or I'm not capable of learning or I don't think I can learn. It's all in the hands of Allah. You make your effort, you get stuck, you call on Allah. You fall down, you call on Allah. You never quit because this is your Jannah. This is your Akhirah. Knowledge leads you to the path of to Jannah. Knowledge brings you closer to Allah, but it has to be accompanied with humility, ikhlas, and a lot of du'as. Understanding that it is not from you. It is not from you. It is not from me. He gives and he takes. He opens doors of knowledge or he closes them. And he's the only one who can open them again. So every step, we ask him to aid us. We ask him, we beg him, we tell him that this is, we want to get closer to him with this knowledge. Protect us from shaitan. Protect us from our own nafs. Protect us from our own arrogance. It's not for us to curse ourselves when we go down and we get stuck. And we're like, why? Why am I making this type of mistakes? No. Ask, save your energy and beg Allah to open for you. Make dua to Allah and believe that only Allah can help you. These ayat are recited. They are from the Quran. They are from the words of Allah. Zawajal. We need to believe in them. And we need to implement them. May Allah give us tawfiq. La hawla wa la quwata illa billah. Is another dua that you can make. Because it really tells you. It puts you in your place. And tells you I cannot do anything without the help of Allah. I've had three uh, occasions this past two weeks and i felt like i needed to share this and remind myself and others that this knowledge is sacred and is in the hands of allah 
and we would never get it except by his permission. And so we beg him and we don't curse ourselves and we don't quit on ourselves. We keep making dua to Allah. This knowledge will take us to Jannah. May Allah give us tawfiq. Assalamu alaikum.